We have one month's worth of storage capacity on the reservoir and just in case there's an emergency we can treat water for about a month. We do have some additional capacity up at our other reservoir in Loveland that we can move down here uh, which would buy us another three months worth of uh, treated treatment. If we go into drought restrictions we can actually get about eight months worth of water out of the two water sources here. And if you look over on the side over here you can see the emergency release outlet up against the rocks there and just to give you some perspective on how low that is if there if we needed to release water out of this reservoir for whatever reason in case there was a major earthquake we wouldn't be able to do it because that's up out of the uh, water line as you can see so if you look over to the far side of the reservoir in 1998 was the last time this reservoir spilled and that high water mark was the top of those red boards on the far side of the reservoir Typically, we are a little bit below that because we don't like to get the reservoir up that high. Obviously, we want to use the water before it spills and we can no longer use it. And that's some of the stain lines that you see on the face of the dam right here. So here we are on the top of the dam. Uh, you can see the, the dam curvature here. Uh, and back when they originally built this dam, the dam was actually a tourist attraction. They had a railway line that came up out of National City and terminated down in the canyon below, down there. And visitors would come up here and they would bring their lunches and they'd have a little picnic and have a, make a day of it here. So it was actually a pretty uh, famous dam. Uh, until Hoover Dam was actually the tallest dam in the world and ultimately when Hoover Dam was built then that became the tallest dam. Now, down the hill down here you'll see the pump station for the Purdue plant. Uh, the pump station lifts the water from the reservoir up to the treatment plant up here on the hill. There's also another pipe that you see going back down the hill and this is the treated water supply for our service area which is Chula Vista, Bonita, and National City. So there's two ways the water comes into the reservoir. It either falls out of the sky in the form of rain, which we haven't had much of obviously, um, or we can actually bring imported water in through our raw water aqueduct which is water that has not been treated but is coming from the Colorado River Basin or the State Water Project and moved in pipes and canals all the way down here to Sweetwater Reservoir. And we can fill the lake um, if there's water available. Obviously with the drought on the Colorado River Basin we're not able to do that right now. Where, where is that pipe that brings that water? Is it underground somewhere over here? It's actually above ground and it's just around the corner over there. Um, you can't really see it from here, but it's above ground and it flows down a, a large rock apron into the, into the reservoir. The issue with storing water in this right now is because the reservoir is so low and there's no water available, we actually take water directly off of that pipeline and run it through the treatment plant. So that's how we're able to continue to operate. Right now the water in the reservoir is not being used. We're saving that for emergency situations in case we need it. So what you see on the intake tower, which is the tall tower that stands up there, are two different what we call saucer valves. These are the um, locations where we allow water to come into the water treatment plant. And we'll open each valve depending on, on how high the water is in the reservoir there. As you can see, there are two valves here on this side. The valves actually go around to the other sides of the intake tower. and Obviously, if they're exposed, there's no water, therefore we can't take any water through that system. And that's where you are right now? And that's where we are right now. We're at the point where we have one valve left and we have only enough water for one month's worth of treatment here at this reservoir right now.